Located in Turkey's Bosphorus Strait is an underwater double-deck tunnel that connects the continents of Europe and Asia within one city. Known as the Eurasia Tunnel, it links up the Istanbul European District of Faith to the Istanbul Asian District of Katakoy. And it's one of the most expensive transport projects in the country. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Eurasia Tunnel, from how it was created, and where the money for the project came from. We'll also examine the features it holds, including a tech-filled museum. On top of this, we'll take a gander at the nearby Marmarai rail line as well. So let's get started. Out of the whole project, 14.6 kilometers or nearly 9.1 miles of road was constructed, while the underwater tunnel itself, also known as Abrasia Tunneli, is 5.4 kilometers or nearly 3.4 miles long. It was created in order to allow light vehicles such as passenger cars and minibuses to travel across the water in record time. Previously, the journey would have taken around 100 minutes, but Eurasia was created to reduce it to 15 minutes. As a result, according to Turkey's Minister of Transport and Infrastructure, Adil Karazmayaloglu, the tunnel has brought in 6 billion Turkish lira, around 692 million dollars into the economy since it opened in 2016. The government further states that the tunnel contributes 180 million liras, around $20.8 million per year, to Turkey's fuel economy. Another reason why the tunnel was built is due to pollution. With less traffic being funneled, the noise pollution would drop substantially. And with the time of driving being reduced by 85%, the pollution from fuel consumption is also vastly reduced. However, with the creation of such a tunnel, money needs to be made back in some way, so the drivers are paying with a toll that increases regularly. When it was first opened, the toll fee was 15 liras, or $4.25 at the time. Now the one-way rate for a car is 46 liras, or around $5.31, and for a minibus, it's 69 liras, around $7.96. When Eurasia opened in 2016, Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, reportedly stated that no public funds were used to create the tunnel, which is pretty impressive considering the project cost a massive $1.3 billion. But where did the country get the fundings from? Well, back in 2009, a joint venture to be the contractors for the tunnel was signed by two firms in Turkey and South Korea, those companies being Yapi Merkezi and SK Group, respectively. Together, they formed ATAS. As a result, this new consortium owns around 50% of the tunnel and is set to run the project until 2043. They also funneled around $285 million in funds collectively. However, they would need a lot more. A number of banks provided loans to help fund the project, one of which was the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. This organization provided a loan of $150 million, which is still being repaid, while the European Investment Bank provided $350 million. Altogether, over $960 million was generated from loans. However, in March of 2021, reports came out that SK Group were looking to sell their shares in the tunnel. The firm currently owns 18%. The idea for this tunnel was first discussed all the way back in 1997. Over the ensuing years, various studies were conducted to see how beneficial the project could be and whether it was possible at all. By 2011, construction got officially underway. Now known as WSP, the American firm was responsible for the design. The tunnel is stacked to allow easy passage for journeys from both sides of Istanbul. Each side has two lanes for the vehicles to travel on. According to WSP, the tunnel consists of, quote, a 45-foot diameter board submarine tunnel over two miles long and twin new Austrian tunneling method tunnels each 0.6 miles end quote at its lowest depth the tunnel reaches 330 feet below the sea's surface other aspects of the tunnel such as technical advisory environmental monitoring and traffic audit services were handled by British company Arup and American firms HNTB and Jacobs engineering group when excavation began a German made tunnel boring machine nicknamed Lightning by AZ was used. The machine reportedly cost $150 million. Also, according to reports, the excavated material was enough to fill 788 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Whilst to build Eurasia, the cement could fill 18 stadiums, and the iron could create 10 Eiffel Towers. One of the biggest considerations of the project was its proximity to the northern Anatolian Fault, as this area has been responsible for a number of earthquakes that have affected Istanbul. The tunnel is only 16 kilometers or 9.9 .9 miles from the fault. 
due to the tunnel being surrounded by both soft and hard ground, the design had to take into account an earthquake could move the tunnel. To ease this issue, two seismic joints were installed 524 meters or 1,719 feet apart. These joints allow the tunnel to shift 50 millimeters or 2 inches transversely and 75 millimeters, around 3 inches, longitudinally during a quake. According to reports, the construction fees alone totaled $814 million. In order to keep drivers safe, the Eurasia Tunnel is filled with a number of features. The German engineering company Bosch is responsible for most of the safety aspects. Murat Azgachan, who is leading the projects, stated, quote, We have installed 5,500 fire detectors in the tunnel. Automated detectors, sounders, and manual call points ensure that any fires can be detected very quickly, end quote. On top of this, there's more than 100 emergency phones installed on both levels. There's at least 500 video cameras for the Bosch team to view traffic conditions within Eurasia. The data is sent to a safety control center that's based at the tunnel. The center is immediately alerted for any car accidents. Thanks to this system, during 2020, when there was an accident or a car breaking down, the authorities got there within 1 minute and 58 seconds. Then, traffic returned to normal within 14 minutes and 13 seconds. For those that need extra help, every 200 meters or 656 feet are emergency rooms, which allow passengers inside the tunnel to move between the two decks. The lighting within Eurasia was designed by Croatian artist Dean Skira. He teamed up with Italian lighting company Iguzzini to design the tunnel's interior. The lighting heavily uses the color blue. It was chosen by Skira after he examined traditional Turkish iconography. In 2017, they won the prestigious Illumination Award of Merit from the Illuminating Engineering Society. Iguzzini also brought in a revenue of 238 million euros, around 200 190 million dollars during 2018. In order to celebrate this engineering marvel, there's the Eurasia Museum. Located in the entrance hall of the Eurasia Tunnel Control Building, the 861 square foot museum was designed by Avja Architects. The area provides information on how the tunnel was created and the various technologies used. The museum uses a number of interactive screens to engage with those looking to learn more about the tunnel. The user interface for the screens and the technical aspects were designed by Berlin-based user pusher, nerdworking, and no lab. They created eight iPad touchscreens and an interactive roundtable for the public to enjoy. According to the Architectural Journal, the cost of the museum came to 165,000 English pounds or 234,000 US dollars. Around half a mile away from the Eurasia Tunnel is the Marmarai Tunnel. Opened in 2013, this tunnel connects the Marmarai rail line that links Istanbul's European district of Zeytinburnu to the Asian district of Kadikoy. Its creation was hindered with delays. Originally, building the tunnel began in 2004. However, shortly after excavations began, the tunnel project hit a problem in the form of ancient artifacts being discovered. The delays reportedly cost the project $1 million per day in lost revenue. The tunnel is 8.5 miles long underneath the Bosphorus Strait, whilst the whole line is 47 miles long. The whole project was reported to cost $4.5 billion, with the Japan Bank of International Cooperation loaning funds of $950 million. Final fact finish. One of the most expensive yalis put on the market in Turkey was called the Marshal Zeki Pasha Mansion. This waterfront property along Istanbul's Bosphorus was built over 130 years ago and has 23 rooms altogether. In 2011, it was on the market for around $115 million, and then in 2018, it returned with an asking price of $95 million. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.